In other news, soldiers from the Mercian Regiment have been deployed to Beirut to support the massive relief effort there. The 2nd Battalion recruits in Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire. It's been on standby for rapid deployments following several brutal fighting tours in Afghanistan's Helmand province. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. The powerful explosion, which claimed at least 150 lives, Thousands of others were injured, homes and businesses flattened. Lebanon's capital city brought to its knees. This is the scene that confronted a small team of soldiers from the Mercian Regiment, filmed as they drove to a military base that was virtually destroyed. The British troops who've been sent to help took three large shipping containers full of tents and field kitchens. They've been training local Lebanese forces to construct them from scratch. The cookhouse can feed a few hundred people a day. We've brought six over, so a lot of them moved to different locations, but we've concentrated at the Navy HQ within Beirut, and we were able to um, erect it and um, sort it out for the navies. And the sailors and that were very helpful. They were uh, very appreciative. They travelled out to Beirut on HMS Enterprise. That's been sent as part of the British government's response to the disaster. The Mercians were deployed from their base in Cyprus, around 150 miles away. Their final task as a rapid deployment force. That involved a six-month stint here in Afghanistan's capital, Kabul, where the battalion's now expecting to deploy again next year. It's a country where Richard and his comrades fought in Helmand province and where several Mercian soldiers from Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire lost their lives. I've served with the British Army for over 17 years now and it's probably the worst I've ever seen devastation-wise. I'm at ground zero, so it's quite a surreal experience. But we really need to understand and empathise with the people of Lebanon. But what's really good to see is the Lebanese people have already started trying to get things back to normal. The Mercians have played a small part in Britain's disaster response in Beirut but it's a city that needs all the help it can get. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today.